Hey guys, Miles here, Point Control. Uh, today, just going to show you a quick uh, survey of the room for IR interference. What that is, Point Control works on infrared. Just like for those, those of you that are familiar with Track IR, stray sources will uh, create a problem with it. So we're, we're going to use the HMS to actually look around the room and identify those sources and eliminate them so we don't have any interference problems. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we are with the HMS. You can see the red light on. That's the powered light. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the uh, FCU into view and we're going to turn it on and you'll see the green light light. And what that is, that's telling us that it's receiving an IR signal. If I move it out of the field of view, green light goes off. In the field of view, green light goes on. Uh, pretty basic. We're going to use that feature to, to um, do a circuit conductor survey of our room. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take, you can do this when it's on your headset, and we're going to move it around the room. Here you can see I'm in my cockpit, and I have a big bright light. You can start to see it, and I'm actually going to point right at that bright light, and I'm not getting any IR. Reason being is that's a fluorescent light. Uh, the fluorescent light does not put out any of the IR light. So if you need some lights in your cockpit, if you use an incandescent light, it's going to be very uh, a lot of interference. And here I'm going to scan around the room. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm going to scan around the room, and there's another bright light. And these lights, same thing. There's no interference with those lights whatsoever. Oh, and there's my wife and dog. <laughs> um, no IR signature from them either. All right, so we're pretty good here. So I'm going around the whole room with all these lights, and I'm not getting any interference. Of course, you notice it is dark out. Um, so that's going to be a problem. Uh, hey, Carol, could you do me a favor? Could you just turn the overhead headlights on here? So Carol's going to turn these overhead lights on. And what you're going to see is you're going to see, boom, there goes my red light. These are traditional incandescent lights. Or correction, the green light. These are incandescent lights. So now you can see the red light is still on. It's reflecting off of all sorts of stuff. Or correction, the green light is still on. So that is not a good thing. So obviously, you can go ahead and turn that off, Carol. Thank you very much. We would uh, want not. We would not want to have those lights on. Or if we need those lights on, we would go ahead and replace them with uh, incandescent ones. All right. So you, that's just a quick IR survey of the room, and we'll do it again in the morning, and you'll see the light how the um, the uh, daylight actually affects it. All right. Here we are in the morning. I'll try to make this a little bit more clear. It should be because. Well, because all the alcohol is out of my system. Okay, you can see we have no green lights in the cockpit. The cockpit's configured as my office now. Um, we go outside, and then we, as soon as we have a view outside the porch, you can see we have the green light, uh, which means we're getting IR interference, and that's obviously not a good thing. We'll continue around the room. The green light stays on, and obviously you can see it's quite a bit. All right, so what we have to do is we have to start eliminating these sources before we can effectively use point control. So let's do that. All right, here we are near standard Mark 1 living room. You can see I closed the front door on the right and the curtains on the left. All right, we're going to do, go ahead and put the FCU out in front of us, or not correction, the HMS out in front of us, and you can see the green light is off. So that's a good thing. We're blocking the IR light from there. As I pan to the right, you can see it comes on. However, it's not coming from there. It's actually because the front window is in the field of view. So it's not necessarily what you're pointing at. It's what's in the field of view. So I'll see if I can get everything in here. So as I turn the FCU, the light goes out. And that's just, again, because it's coming into the edge of the field of view. And we'll continue around the room. You can see the light is staying on. And that's about as far as we have to go. All right, so let's close the front window. Here you can see I closed the curtains. Those are sheer curtains, though, so there's quite a bit of light coming through. Let's see if it, uh, if it picks it up. Okay, and you can see we're still getting interference with those curtains closed. So let's cover them up some more. And here we have the U.S. Army issue poncho liner to the rescue. And let's see if that works. You can see we... Uh, this one's been eaten by the dog a little, so we got a hole in it. We got a little bit of light coming out the bottom. And we still have the lights over by the front door, but we'll see if that's enough. All right, so no green light. That's a good thing as we traverse over. All right, still no green light. And get a little better angle here. 
Alright, no green light, and nothing from the front door either. Alright, so that's about how uh, that's about how much of the light you have to block to use it in the daytime.